Hello guys, welcome to the yet another video tutorial on C++ for beginners and in the last video which I made for uh, this series was the introduction to constructor. Now in this video I'm going to uh, teach you about destructor. So what are destructor? Destructor is uh, another special kind of class member function that is executed when an object of that class is destroyed. So you can say it's the counterpart of the constructor. So we use a constructor to initialize some values and we use destructor to destroy the object or variable when it goes out of the scope. Okay. So I have an example by now you already know how to create a simple class so I have created a simple class called books here and I have a constructor public constructor here and it's nothing but the name same as your class name so this is uh, the declaration of the constructor so let's see how we can uh, declare a destructor first and then I will show you how to use it so to define a destructor you just need to copy the class name once again and just paste it like this once again but the destructor it starts from this um, symbol called tilde this is a small squiggly line or uh, I call it tilde so this whenever you start your uh, uh, I mean member function which has the same name as class and it starts with, with tilde sign it's called a destructor and the basic uh, use of this destructor is to destroy the object whenever it goes out of the scope so let's see a small example I will output something on the screen so I will say we are in constructor and end line and in the destructor we can say it's a destructor okay so we are in destructor okay and in the main function or in main I have defined an object of this class or an instance of this class so if you have watched the last video you already know that whenever I create any object of uh, a class First of all, constructor is called, and once it goes out of the scope, which means once it goes at this line at at the end of the main function, it's it doesn't. Uh, I, I mean, it's not necessary that it's uh, it's has to be uh, end of the function. Whenever your object goes out of the scope, then this destructor is called. So let's compile this program and let's see what will be the result. So it's compiling. Now let's run the program. And you see here, first of all, you is called whenever you create an object of a class. And once it reaches the end of uh, your scope, for example, the end of the scope, for this object is the end of this function then this destructor is called and whenever this destructor is called all the resources which are I mean contained by this book object are released or all the memory which is hold by this object is released okay so it's uh, the destructor is used to release all the uh, resources which are used by the object okay 
and in between this constructor and destructor you can uh, do your basic I mean basic uh, programming for example printing some uh, some something or some useful work okay so it will start with the constructor do its work and once it goes out of the scope then it will call this okay so let's see once again will the program run it you see first of all constructor is called then it uh, execute the code which you write in that same scope and whenever it goes out of the scope it called a destructor and all the resources are released uh, by your object whenever this destructor is called and one more little important thing that I, I have also uh, I mean uh, told you ab about this in the last video I think that wh whenever you don't even declare the constructor and destructor in the class the class or C++ will create a constructor and destructor for you by itself so it depends upon you if you want to use constructor and destructor for your some useful work which you want to perform with them otherwise your uh, class automatically uh, const has constructor and destructor by default so you don't need to define them explicitly but if you uh, can uh, perform any useful task with constructor and destructor for example constructor you can initialize some values or in the destructor you can want to release some resources from other variables or other classes then you can do it uh, with the help of destructor so this is what is the use of destructor i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now